I honestly debated making another one of these videos because I literally got all four of my picks wrong last time. I didn't get one right. So clearly I'm not a Nostradamus, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Um, I think that really, I don't know many people that had predicted Reddick, Harvick, and Bush all three to go out. I know Dylan was an easy out for a lot of people. Um, but I think the fact that we had such a wild first round with those three guys specifically going out is a testament to just how competitive this field is. We literally still have 10 guys that I could realistically see making it to the like final four of the 12 left. I think as far as like some easy outs, I don't want to say easy, but just guys that I expect to be out without much issue, uh, Chase Briscoe is going to be the easiest one this round. I think Briscoe has the talent that's going to make him a champ contender in the future, but he hasn't found a groove yet. Um, neither has Stuart Haas for that matter, and he just hasn't been consistent enough all year to be a threat. And this round doesn't stack up badly against him, but I just haven't seen him string together three good races all together all year. And unless Stuart Haas gets it turned around with him being the only playoff car he left, I just don't think that that's going to change with whenever the pressure is at its highest for him. I also think Daniel Suarez is going to be another guy that's probably got the most likely chance of being out this round for a lot of the same reasons. Suarez has a good shot at the Roval, but I think there's too many better cars that are going to outdrive him. Both Suarez and Briscoe have the worst average finishes of all 12 drivers left at the next three tracks, and neither have really instilled much confidence in me that they can make it and compete for the next round um, and just pre present three consistent races to make it but I think the only reason they made it to this round is or at least the most prominent reason is because both Bush and Harvick and Reddick had colossal bad luck. The next two were actually pretty difficult for me. Uh, the only person I never considered was Chase Elliott but everyone else was pretty much up for grabs and it came down to five for the final two I was considering to get knocked out and those five were Ross Chastain, Ryan Blaney, Alex Bowman, Austin Sendrick, and Kyle Larson. Uh, but I think Elliot, Hamlin, Byron, and Bell are all safe and are going to point their way in with as much ease as possible. I know that considering Larson to get knocked out in the round of 12 is probably a hot take but I'm honestly just nervous about the next three tracks. Like, they aren't good matchups for him outside of the Roval. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know he can win at Texas. I know he can win at the Roval. But he finished last in the All-Star race at Texas and has never been a strong super speedway racer. In fact, Talladega has the potential for him to come in last place there as well because he's done it before. Um, but like I said, he could win at the Roval. And I think that he will find his way to claw out of adversity. I'm not worried about him, but I did consider him. I think he's someone to keep an eye on for a possible, like, just come out of nowhere knockout. But even if he struggles, I think that he will always find a way to make it through. Sindrick has actually been really consistent. I really mainly consider him just because I feel like he is a third guy that's the easiest out to make, claim to make. But as of late, uh, he's been really consistent. He ran well at Texas at the All-Star Race, has won a super speedway uh, race this year. Penske's always really strong there and is a very good road course racer. He could honestly win one of the next three races. He's definitely probably not going to get out of the round of eight, but I think he will squeak in into the round of eight. And now we got the most confusing driver of the year, Ryan Blaney. And the only reason I even considered him was because of his pit crew situation where they're expecting to have Hassler, his uh, right tire changer, and his jackman get suspended for the next four races. They've appealed that. They will be all together for Texas. And while Hassler and his pit crew will remain intact for Texas, they're probably going to be out for Talladega and the Roval. But Blaney won at Texas, so I think that's why they're appealing the penalty so that they can have all hands on deck to go for another win. Um, and it's really hard to ruin a super speedway car, no matter who your crew chief is, especially with Blaney behind the wheel. And I think he can run in the top 15 at a, and at the Roval and kind of just keep himself clean. The next three tracks are just tailor-made for him. They're just all really good matchups. I just have a hard time, no matter who his crew chief is, not expecting him to make it to the next round. 
So to me, the two odd men out are going to be Bowman and Chastain. And I think Bowman's inconsistency will finally come around to bite him. His stats at the next three tracks don't really inspire a lot of confidence in me. Um, and I, and he just doesn't have a good points lead for the, you know, magical Hendrick Motorsports horseshoe to help him. You know, like I've made the point before that all Hendrick Motorsports drivers seem to always find a way to uh, overcome adversity. But I don't think that's going to apply to Bowman in this round, unfortunately. Ross Chastain is the one I've really struggled with having out this next round. And while he looked solid in the first round, he still hasn't looked as strong as he did early in the season. While I think he could win at any of the next three tracks, I had just have a gut feeling that he's not going to. And I think that the payback that we've all been expecting could finally rear its head in this round. I think it's eventually going to come. Maybe it won't be this round, but eventually I think something's going to happen to him. While I'm with a lot of people that throw their hands up and say, well, it still hasn't come, so why should we expect that all the drivers seem to be leaving him alone? I think that it's inevitable. As drivers get eliminated, and his chances of making it to the next round get lower. And if he finds himself leading at Talladega or the Roval, I don't see whoever is in second place not spinning him, especially if those that driver is in the playoffs. So to sum it up, my round of eight prediction is Chase Elliott, Christopher Bell, Denny Hamlin, Joey Logano, William Byron, Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney, and Austin Sindrick in no particular order, with Ross Chastain, Alex Bowman, Daniel Suarez, and Chase Briscoe being eliminated. But what do you guys think? Who do you have getting knocked out in this round? Tell me what you think in the comments. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok, like and subscribe to the video, and I hope y'all have a great day.